Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. In today's lesson, we're going to be translating equations from word sentences. So a quick review of some uh, words that turn into either an operation or a symbol or something. These four right here, minus, subtract, less than, and difference, have to do with the minus sign, right? And then these four over on the right, plus, add, more than, and sum, have to do with the plus sign, okay? Now these four words have to do with times multiply product and twice have to do with the multiplication. Now we used to use the x as a multiplication, but we don't use x anymore because now we use variables and we use x quite a bit. You can't have xx in there. So uh, after we got rid of x, we started using a multiplying dot, right? And so sometimes you'll see that as a multiplication. But most of the time in algebra, we use parentheses as our multiplication. And so you will see this and use this um, a lot more than you would the dot. Then we have divide by quotient split into division. Now, just a reminder, there are so many different words uh, for all of these symbols. I couldn't put them all here, but these were the, uh, the big ones. Now, this is... These four words are associated with the division symbol. And we don't use the division symbol anymore in algebra, but we kind of do in a way because the division symbol is simply a fraction. You see the dot on top and the dot on the bottom? That's what a division symbol is. It's a fraction, the top divided by the bottom. And here's an example of a fraction. So I just put M and G in there to give you an example, but the top is the numerator, m, and it's being divided by the bottom number, which is g, and that's the denom denominator. Did I say that right? Numerator on top, denominator on the bottom. And then finally, what makes this different is we're going to be doing equations, and you're going to see these words equals the same as is, is equal to, and they have to do with the equal sign. Okay, so can you translate a sentence? Let's see. 3 times x is 9. Now we have to put this in a number sentence. So there's only going to be uh, numbers, variables, and symbols. We can't use any words. So 3 times x, uh, when we multiply 3 and an x, we actually don't have to put it, uh, put a dot there or parentheses. 3x indicates that we're multiplying those two. We always put the whole, the number in front of the variable. And then is 9 uh, means equals 9. So 3x equals 9. All right, t plus 41 is equal to 19. So just like it sounds, t plus 41 is equal to 9, 19. And so this one is kind of easy as far as it just sounds exactly the way you write it. Now this one, the product of a number and four is 18. Now we know at the end is 18 means equals 18. So the product of a number and four, the product is the answer to a multiplication. And here we're multiplying a number and four. Well, I want you to know that whenever you see just a number, where it says a number, it means it's talking about a variable. Now you can use whatever variable you want in this. I am going to use x for this one. And so the product of x and 4 is 4x. And so it's 4x equals or is 18. Okay? All right, 10 less than g is 15. Now, the less than is always the one that tricks students and they get the problem wrong because we know it means minus, but 10 is not out in front. 10 is going to be subtracted from whatever it's following. And so since g is following it, it's going to be g minus 10 equals 15. Putting 10 minus g is not correct. It's a completely different equation. 
So 10 less than is going to be minus 10 after that g. OK, here we go. 5 more than 3 times a number is 20. All right, it's getting complicated here. So we have is 20, that's the easy part, equals 20. 5 more than. Now the more than means that we're going to be adding 5 to whatever's next. And what's next? 3 times a number. Now, a number is a variable, so 3 times a number is going to be 3x or 3n or whatever letter you decide to put in here. So I decided to put x, so 3x plus 5, so that's 5 more than that 3x, is 20. Okay, they keep getting tougher and tougher, so we have to read it very clearly. The product of m and 6, well, let's break it down piece by piece. That means uh, m times 6. And so we're going to put 6m. That's how we write the product of m and 6. Minus 3, so we're going to subtract 3 from that, uh, is equal to the quotient of m and 7. So let's look at this and, and see what we did here. The, the first part, the left side, is 3 or is the product of m and 6 so we always write the 6 for 6 before the m then minus 3 and then is equal to the quotient which is a division of m and 7 and the first number will always be the, on top your numerator okay 8 is 3 less than the product of a number and 2 and so I put this one in here because um, the equal sign comes pretty quick. And so it's going to be uh, 8 equals, and then 3 less than the product of a number and 2. Remember, 3 less than means it's going to be subtracting after whatever comes next. And so the product of a number and 2 is 2n. I used n for my variable this time. And so we have 8 equals 2n minus 3. And there you have it. You just learned how to translate equations from word sentences. Now, the, the most important part is that you read these sentences um, several times so you know exactly what's happening. You're going to be writing it literally what it says. That means word for word, whatever it's telling you. Um, and so don't feel like, oh my gosh, um, I didn't get it the first time. Read the problems over. Watch the video again to get some hints. Um, remember some of the special things like less than um, and quotient. And um, I think you'll do well. All right. Well, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.